So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week eight. If this is your first video, I usually go through the challenges for whatever week it is. We go, I explain all the challenges, how I would do them. And we also look at it reverse to see what she's selling. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. And other than that, let's get into it. So Antiquarian 8, return the 8th Relic to the Helm. Also defeat champions across the system. Champions defeated in Catch Crash and Expedition will award bonus progress. Hopefully, hopefully the bonus progress is a lot for normal Catch Crash and Expeditions because if, if, if on Master you have to run like one or two, then it's gonna be annoying because not everyone has access to a raid or a clan so it's just hopefully you can do this in normal because i'd rather not have to do this with my clan because i don't want to like i'm much more of a single player type of dude so i definitely feel the pain of fuck i have to do this on master so hopefully we can do this on normal uh we have sextant navigation two: collect map fragments and treasure coordinates throughout the sis throughout the season map fragments can be obtained by completing catch crash and treasure coordinates can be acquired from ritual activities so this one I already had completed. Mind you, I have not been playing this season like much. I think like aside from Tuesday and maybe th Friday, I don't turn the game on like at all. I've been playing other games recently. Uh, I started getting back into Final Fantasy again. Uh, I started playing Genshin. So I am playing other stuff and I already had this completed. So if you are having trouble, just play a bunch of uh, Catch Crash or play a bunch of other activities to get the treasure coordinates. Either way, uh, good luck. Uh, Pinnacle, reach power level 15A by earning Pinnacle rewards. This one is not hard at all. Uh, just do your weeklies, uh, Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard. And if you have the, if you have like the way, then the raid, uh, specifically King's Fall, cause that's the one that gives power. If you don't have the means to do a King's Fall, which I understand it, it takes a clan or usually LFG, which I would, I would not do LFG. Then this one might be a little bit tough, but considering we still have, I don't even know how long we have, but we, we still have a good amount of time for you to hit 1580, uh, defeat champions and bosses and catch crash. This one is going to pair well with the, uh, antiquarian eight. So just be aware that these two are just going to be better together. So at this point, just run Catch Crash. Uh, it is a lot more reliable for champions than Expeditions because Expeditions, you actually do have to wait a little bit unless they patch that, hopefully. But yeah, uh, Catch Crash would definitely be the best one to do this. Uh, hold the trigger. Calibrate machine guns, scout rifles, and sidearms. Rapidly defeating combatants and, defeat, uh, and defeating guardians will award bonus progress. So in Crucible, machine guns and scout rifles are pretty viable. I mean, I shouldn't say viable, but they're usable. Like I definitely use scout rifles a lot more than I used to. So I would probably just run a scout rifle for this one. And then a sidearm. I I would literally run the whole thing just in crucible, whatever. Actually, I don't even know what, what crucible is offering right now. So after this, we'll look at that. Uh, intended mischief, acquire the gambit ornament for cry mutiny. This one's going to be rough because uh, you have to prestige once and then you have to get basically get hit legend to get the skin. So this one might not be acquired by a lot of the player base, which is fair considering I think I think asking the player to prestige twice or essentially twice to get a skin that's very fucking terrible usually is too much of an ask personally. Rift is up. I might actually play this week then cuz uh I'm not playing control. I'm not sweating my balls over that shit. To be fair though, my stats my stats shouldn't be that crazy that Mm, I don't know. I'm I suffer from that like in the middle like you're good at some matches when which like makes my SBMM go way fucking high and then I get paired with sweat lords and I'm like this don't feel right dog. As for Eververse, we have Jack Arena. This is a really good shader guys. This is a really good shader. I know it doesn't look good here, but with specifically armor pieces, you're going to have this really matte black. It's really good. I really suggest this one. It's such a good black shader. Uh, just be aware that there are blue hints to it. But when you find that like that right armor set that like goes with it, it looks amazing. Probably one of the better black shaders we have. And it is matte black. So that's also a big plus for me. 
Uh, catch flight entrance. We have Tethy's shell, which is the shell inspired by uh, Telesto. I think it is. It's funny too because it's like, look at this, look at that. That's pretty funny. That's hilarious. Uh, we have spherical ruminations. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm not. That's pretty cool, but not three thousand. That's gross. We have stasis projection. We have pseudoscience. Oh, this ornament looks so fucking cool. If I use this exotic more, I would I would scoop it. It was it's so good. We have the universal ornament for the class item, which is super fire for the hunters. And Titans also have a really cool one. Uh, I'm definitely gonna pick this up, like obviously. Like, let's go. We have Saints Vocation, which is from Damn, this is an old, well, this is Season of the Worthy. Yeah, this is an old, well, is that Season of the Worthy? I always forget the symbols. I think that's Season of the Worthy, probably. We have Skiff Scribbles Shell, which I could have sworn Bungie said that we're going to stop selling ghost ships and sparrows, anything that was related to the season in the Eververse shop. I thought they, I thought they said that in the TWAB or, or somewhere. Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Cause I've been looking for that fucking statement. I think it, maybe it was on a Twitter statement, but I know they said something like that. Cause that's why we had shadow, uh, shadow keep like, oh man, shadow keep was a bad, bad time for Eververse. Uh, fancy hat roll. I hate it. We have take a seat. Oh man. This looks like a porno waiting, porno waiting to happen, dog. As for shaders, we have Fayware, Fayware, Fate, wait, Wayfarers, guys. Jesus Christ, dog. I need to wake up. It's, I'm not a big fan of the green. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the green could be better, but I mean, it's a green. Copper brand, which is also not a, not a cool color for me. I don't really care for it. We have Chitin Slate. So this is an interesting fucking shader. Uh, We'll go over it when we get when we see the last shader because I really want to talk about it. Amethyst Veil, bro. This is such a dub shader. If you guys listen to anything I say in this video, pick up Amethyst Veil if you don't have it because Amethyst Veil is like one of the best shaders in the game. And pick up Jacarina. I know it didn't look good in my in my set, but I promise you guys, once you find a set that looks good with it, you guys will be like, thank you, Tony. You, you, you a real one. And I'm going to be like, thank you, random person. I know I'm a real one. So let me show you guys something real quick. Um, it's, it's such a cool interaction that I didn't really notice until, uh, I actually opened my fucking eyes. Well, to be fair, I never really used this shader, but once I like actually saw it, I, I was like wilded. So, oh, it works better with the warlock. Um, no, it's fine. I, 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 oh, there we, wait, this one. No, ooh, that's a weird interaction. So the thing I'm trying to showcase is that this shader, a uh, Chitin slate makes anything that glows a solid. And I mean, anything that glows actually, let me see. Should, so this is, I think a good example. Cause that shit's a solid now. Like it looks like it's glowing, but I promise you it's a solid. It works a lot better with the warlocks because the warlocks has a specific bond and it literally turns it into like almost Jade. It's, it's so scary that I almost really want to, sh as you guys can see from the helmet, it actually turns into a solid. This one usually has like a really cool, uh, like animation with this, like swirl. I, I actually, you can actually see it a little bit. But yeah, it actually turns it into just like one solid color. A better example is this uh, this bond right here, complete solid. And if you guys haven't seen how it actually looks, it it glows like it's the wildest shit. And I promise you, when I learned this, I was like, I want to use this shader more because it it's so cool. Also, if you don't know, this is the actually the shader for the uh, Imperium Cartographer set. This one right here. So if you ever wondered what shader is that it's the Imperium cartographer, you're welcome. Shit looks fire. So 
yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i am pretty excited for the content that's coming up because we have a lot of fashion i'm finally doing the weapons of this season which i've been wanting to do so yeah look out for the content again i apologize that the content's not coming out as fast as i would like to but i'm still suffering from my pinched nerve thankfully it is better than it was like a while ago but it's still like permeates the pain at least so thank you guys for the well wishes i really do appreciate it, it really warms my heart to see you guys still uh blowing up the channel because my channel is still doing really well even though i'm not posting as much but once this arm is fixed and or this pain goes away just know that content is coming i already have the halloween sets already made and anything else is just bonus at this point so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below i will see you guys later